Mental health professionals are warning that the overuse of powerful prescription medications could lead to the UK facing an addiction crisis on par with the US. Well, tomorrow, Public Health England will publish a review which has found more than 140 million prescriptions were handed out for painkillers, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication and sleeping pills. It comes as the health secretary has vowed to implement cigarette-style labels on packets, warning patients of the risk of dependence. Sky's Sadia Chowdhury reports. For many of us, we've always been taught that doctors know best. But a new review by Public Health England shows that when it comes to powerful prescription medications, patients haven't always been given the full story. In Marion Brown's case, antidepressants led to her husband, who was a GP, taking his own life in 2011. He was living through the times when there was, was huge pressure on GPs to prescribe antidepressants. Um, there was this defeat depression campaign in the, in the 1990s and all the GPs were, were encouraged and incentivised to start people on antidepressants. And we're now seeing the legacy of that where we've got people who've been on antidepressants for, you know, over 20 years and can't come off them. The number of prescriptions for dependents forming medication has skyrocketed in the past decade. The review found last year doctors issued nearly 71 million prescriptions for antidepressants, a 97% increase compared to 2008. Painkillers were up to 40.5 million, that's 22% more when compared to a decade earlier. Over half a million more sleeping tablets were doled out, a 10% increase, up to 6 million. And the drug pergabalin alone, originally used to treat epilepsy but also for anxiety, was up by 661% with over 7 million prescriptions. Faced with short consultation times and the pressure to see more and more patients, experts say it's not doctors who are to blame but the entire system. I'd particularly like to uh, welcome the Public Health England review, which I think is going to be a historic document in years when we look, when we look back, right? a turning point from decades of minimising um, the extent of the problem here. Um, so we are fast catching up with, with America. Um, and so that's why this report at this point in time is so hugely important. It should affect uh, our national guidelines on uh, how often these drugs should be prescribed and what people, what GPs should be told about withdrawal from these, these things. And it should provide more services for people. In the US, prescription opiates, considered a gateway drug to harder illegal substances, have resulted in what's being called an opioid crisis. Just a fortnight ago, a US court fined one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies, Johnson & Johnson, a landmark $500 million. The company was accused of a cynical and deceitful brainwashing campaign to drive up sales of its painkillers. It plans to appeal. There are concerns Britain could soon be faced with a crisis of a similar magnitude. Two-thirds of those addicted to prescription pills are middle-aged women, and experts say more needs to be done to understand the underlying causes for mental and emotional distress. With more of us feeling the pressures of everyday life and Britain's mental health crisis growing by the day, perhaps the real question we should be asking is not why the addiction, but why the pain. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.